Hello. Hello. Hi, Kendra. Hi. How you doing? You ready? I'm well. Good. You ready? We met in Ghana last year. Say again, honey. We met we met in Ghana last year. We met in Ghana last. I didn't go to Ghana the year before last. Year before last, yeah. Okay, where did I meet you at in Ghana? Where was I at? We stayed at the um at the um the Kempton. The Kempton. No, it's not. It was just not called the Kempton. What's the hotel? Yeah, but that hotel. Yeah. Okay. The Kavinsky, 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 Kavinsky. All right, okay. Well, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. How old are you, honey? I'm fifty. Fifty. Okay. What you do for a living? I'm a fashion designer. Fashion designer. You have any kids? Yes, twins. Twins. How old are your twins? Twenty-one. All right. Have you been married? Yes. To their dad? Nope. Oh no. When did you get divorced? Mm, 2017, 18. Okay. Um, what's your, uh, what's your zodiac sign? Cancer. And where do you live? In DC. DC. All right. So we got Letitia, 50, Cancer, DC, fashion designer, mom to twins, um, 21, and was once married. Hi, right, boo. What kind of man you looking for? That's just that that big question, huh? Outside of honesty and being emotionally emotionally intelligent, um, established, uh, world I like to travel because I travel a lot. So I need someone that likes to travel a lot. Um, and someone that's not competitive. Like I meet a lot of men that's very competitive. So no man that's competitive. Yeah. Okay. I don't well, want to now, let's break that down. Competitive in what ways to you? So in terms of like business, like I meet a lot of men because I am an entrepreneur. It's like, you know, when they hear that, they, you know, they have all of these, uh, I feel like false accolades when, um, I just need someone to be comfortable in who they are. That's it. Okay. Make sure you have good lighting. Cause like you want the light to be in your face, honey. Is that better? No, I feel like there's a shadow cover. Okay. That's better. This is good right here. Okay, let me put my thing up. Yeah, because I'm getting ready to go out, so I'm dressing up at the same time. Um, so you said, wait, no, you have the good light. You got to bring the phone up. There you go. Right there is good. Okay. Okay. So you said men compete with you? Did they have false accolades? Yeah, well, you know, that, well, you don't know. Obviously, you don't know what I'm talking about. But I meet a lot of men um, that, um, like, on who that don't have what they say that they have after you've been dealing with them for some time um, or um, like that financial security. Um, that That's like one of the main things that I see that a lot of men profess that they have or able um, where money is not an issue and then money does become an issue. So those are the type of things that I mean. Okay. Okay. Um... Should he, what are um, any other deal breakers besides wanting to compete with you? Um, well, hi, I'm five nine, so I, I prefer not to have a short guy. Um, okay, don't be short. So, like, maybe six feet, um, fit because I do work out a lot, so I want someone that's health conscious. I am vegan, I wish I could find someone that is vegan, but if they're not vegan, that's okay. Okay, and, um, <clears throat> so you go. No, anything else? Mm, no, not off top. That's it. Um, should he look a certain way? I mean, I'm big on teeth. I'm big on skin. Okay, big on teeth, big on skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what about money? I don't like hair. I don't like dreads. I don't like dreads at all. I don't like hair. Say it again. I don't like dreads. I don't like men with hair. No men with hair. No, not so no men with hair like dreadlocks. Like you can have your own hair, but I don't like dreadlocks. She does not like dreadlocks. Okay, so no men with dreadlocks. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Um, at least uh, at least like two hundred thousand. Woo! Big money. I mean, she just we did stay at the same hotel New Year's Eve, and it wasn't cheap. <laughs> and it was not cheap. And it I was, was there for not two cheap, weeks. Child. I know how much <laughs> I know how much that stay was. It was it was a lot. 200K, hold up, Leticia, we gotta get in it. I'm gonna let you respond to it because you already know my cousins are gonna talk about you and your 200K. That's fine. 
So what you want to say to the people that's going to say, I don't think you're going to get a guy that makes 200 k but what would your response be? Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't get it from here. I just came on. I've been coming on here to watch you for some time now, so I just thought I'd jump in. So he may not be here. That's fine. Let me ask you this. So do you normally date men that make 200 k Yes, I do. And those I are the men? I, I've dated outside of my race, honestly, so I'm just okay. like... You know, I prefer my own kind, but I understand. If but those different. are the men that compete with you? No, it's the it's unfortunately it's the black men. The black men that don't make two hundred K or do make two hundred K. That do make two hundred K are the competitive ones. Okay, so the black men that you date that meet your financial requirements, they compete with you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that why it didn't work out? Mm, the last relationship, yes. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well, that's what she dates, child. So y'all better watch your mouths in the comment section. So um, we did the kiss with the Kendra cam. Uh oh, what happened? I'm oh, still okay. here. Okay, is that is that a money roll? Oh, show that. You look good, girl. We see them hits. Woo! The butt. Wait a minute. What kind of pretty <laughs> old body is this? It's a kimono. Okay, but it's a money kimono, right? Yes, it's a manifestation kimono. Don't ooh, don't play with it. Okay, don't play with it. She came on rocking the money. Okay. Um, Leticia, what was your last relationship? Um, 2022. All right, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Mm, about a year ago. A year ago. Three flaws you have to work on. Uh, being patient. I am very understanding. Um, learning to say no more. Um, I think that's it. I don't have three. Those are my two. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm a giver. Um, I'm very affectionate. I'm very loving. I love children. Um, I'm a go-getter. And um, that's it. I make my own money. <laughs> Makes your own money. And what was the age range you was in? You're 50. Um, 45 to maybe 60. 45 to 60. And you said, does he have to be in DC? No. No. All right. So we got Leticia. Um, Latasha. 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 He's Latasha. 50. A, Zodiac signs of cancer. Mm -hmm. Fashion designer. Mom of twins. Was married. Divorced. Um, in the DC area. Um, be 45 to 60. Don't be a man that wants to compete with her. And her purpose is 200K and above. That's correct. Would you date a man that made 100K? Possibly. So if that's a possible, then I know 75K got to be a no. That's a no. Say 5K is a no. 100K, we can have a conversation. Correct. And there you have it. How can he reach out to you, book? Um, you can find me on Instagram at the Key Collection, K E I T T K O L L E C T O N, and on Inst on Facebook at L Devon E D E L D E B L Devon E L D E V O N. Okay, I have a question for you. We got some. Um, Keon said, "What are the black guys doing that considered competing with you that the white men aren't doing?" But I didn't say they were white men. I just said they were not black men. That's one. And two, um, some of the things that I find very competitive from the few. So it's not a lot of them, but even just in conversation when you're talking to people and like if I'm out at events and you say what you do. Um, for instance, someone gives you a business card and say that they are, um, I don't know, they do real estate. And you know, if you say you do something else, then now you're you're jumping on that bandwagon. Now you do this, or you did this once before, or you know what it is to do this. I mean, just keeping the conversation straightforward. Not that you don't 
I don't need someone to meet me conversation wise. I mean, of course, I want someone that can articulate a conversation, but you don't have to do what I've done or, you know, at one, you know, I had a, a clothing line before. I mean, it's happened on more than one occasion. So that's why I just put it out there because I found that that to be um, several conversations that I've had that men have done that. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Carol's daughter said that scarf was hiding everything. Good God, Ani. Got the body. <laughs> All right. One more time. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, okay. My Instagram is K as in Kendra, E I T T as in Tom, and in collection with the K, K O L L E C T L N on Instagram. And on Facebook, it's E L D as in David, E V as in Victor, O N. L. Okay. They trying to play love connection. Andrea said, Kendra, ask her if she like Rob. He was 60. She's gorgeous. No, I don't like Rob. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Why did you like Rob? What was wrong with Rob? Rob wasn't the type. I don't know. Rob, 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 yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Rob we'll had never had no kids, never got married. I, I feel a way about a man at that age that has never been married. Never. What did he say he was married? I want to um, say, say that he wasn't he got married, married one time before. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave Rob. I'm sorry. We're going to leave Rob. Okay. All right, Letitia girl, you keep me posted how it goes. Will do. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye, Bye baby. 